what's going on guys, this is Mickey CTX. I'm going to be here doing a tutorial on how to properly install Hapog HD PVR and pardon my blurriness, focus it, this is on my iPhone so if the quality is not 100% good I'm I apologize, but this is for the Hapog HD PVR. Now I know that there's quite a few tutorials out there, but I've had some of my subscribers have asked me how do you connect properly one of these Hapogs to an HD TV. Now, of course, you have to have an HD TV first, and then you also have to have the Hapog. Usually, when you buy a Hapog, it usually comes, and it has to at least come with these. Uh, uh, the, these uh, component cables, that one that, that go in the back of your Hapog, and they also then go, get connected to the back of your TV on the source that you need it to go. So if you're going to be on HDMI 1 or HDMI 2, uh, things like that, I mean, it's up to you wherever you connect it. Uh, mine's on component 1, I think, and uh, and that, that's, that's how I keep mine. Let me show you guys real quick on how mine looks like. Um, whenever you turn on the television, See, it's going to be right there in the component one for me at least. Uh, but that's just my preference. You could do whatever you want on that. But I'm going to teach you how to connect this properly on uh, the back of your PS3. Now I got a good in PS3, of course, so don't get too shocked. Okay, so go back to the hop hog. You connect the uh, component cable wires. They have to have these, these five component cable wires. You connect them to the back of your uh, hop hog. Okay, now you saw here, guys. I just finished connecting it. All right, I told you what I was gonna. I was gonna tell you what these two were about. Now these two wires here do, do not come with the hub hog. These are part of my gaming headset that I use uh, when I game, and these are my um, Turtle Beach PX21. Uh, they are also the Ear Force with the amplifier, so they get an optical type of sound so it's much more clearer than the regular ones but that's a, that's another tutorial if you guys want to know more about that let me know as well on the comments below and I will uh, also try to help you guys out with that now another thing you have to realize is that these have five components now they go to the proper appropriate color of course in the back and there there they go so they they got five of these connecting according to the color now you also have to understand that in order for this to even work you must have one of these you have to have, uh, oops, I'm, I'm dropping them, I'm dropping them, I'm dropping them. There we go. All right. You must have these things right here. This is an HDMI, a PS3 HDMI component cable that ones that go to the back of your uh, hub hog. And uh, this, this part, of course, goes according to those right there. A lot of people have the regular component cables, but they those won't work because they don't have these other two here, which is the audio. Most people have four, uh, and these are for more of an HDMI type of feel. Of course, you won't be able to get 1080p, but you will be able to get 720, things like that, on a pure uh, kind of basis. Now, you connect these to the bottom of the hapog back down there, and uh, I'm going to show you what it looks like after it's done. Okay guys, so now that I connected the bottom of it, of course you're going to see the red on red, the white on white, green on green, blue on blue, and etc. Now you're going to see another one here that, that you do not need to use is the yellow cord here, that what the uh, what your PS3 component, you do not have to use that. That could just be hanging out. Just leave it like that as is. And that's basically how you set up this first portion. Now I'm going to show you how to set up your PS3 in order for it to be working accordingly to your, um, well of course to your program. Okay guys, now this is the part of the program part, the one that goes on your computer. I'm just going to show you real quick how it looks like. Now for the Mac users, we have to buy uh, from a third party source. Now of course if you go to the Hapog website, they'll give you a list of trusted third party sources where you'll be able to find an editing program because Hapog unfortunately doesn't make an editing disk for the Mac users. It's only for PC unfortunately and uh, thus we have to buy this program which wasn't really that expensive. It was like maybe 25 bucks or something like that. But the, the creator of of, uh, of this, of the Hapog uh, HD PVR capture uh, for Mac, uh, he's very good at responding any questions you have. I had a program a problem I mean when I first uh, installed this and he helped me out like within like a day so I mean it's a really good program uh, for the for the for the cheap for the how cheap it is and uh, so right here as we we're seeing uh, you're seeing everything's connected 
uh, the video in encounter right here. You want to keep it around. You know, the more you, you put it up here, the more you're going to be using your 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 disk space. So I keep mine in the middle usually. That's where I keep mine at. My inputs, of course, you're going to see that it's under component HD, and your rear analog is RCA jacks. So the other options is front, but of course you didn't connect it in the front, and the digital audio you don't need to do that at all. Okay. Now, whenever you're recording videos, they're going to go right here. Um, now, if you want it to run, once you finish recording a video, you have to right-click it right here, and you have to push run. And what that does is that it cre it, it renders your file into uh, whether, whatever file you want to use it to edit your, your, your video. So that's just a little tip I wanted to give you guys on how this program looks like. And I also leave the description on the, on the description the website for this uh, HD PVR capture uh, program. And like I said, it's not very expensive. So if you guys want to get it, go ahead. Now I'm going to show you the last portion of this tutorial is how to set up uh, your your TV uh, so it could be recording to your hapog. Okay guys, now this is on your PlayStation menu. Of course you have to scroll down, go to the display settings, and video output settings. Component D terminal is what you're looking for. You're gonna go from HDMI down to component D terminal. Now these they have to be turned on 480p, 720p. Do not go to 1080 at all. It will not record 1080p. Once that happens, you push enter and then if you have an, a, a set audio, you're going to have to go ahead and set everything up. For me, I have a uh, Turtle Beach, so I'm using Optical Digital. Uh, for everyone else, that you're going to be under HDMI if, you, if you're just listening on, on any other speaker. But if you have a uh, Turtle Beach, that's the settings that you're looking at right now. Uh, of course, you have to go back. Like I'm going to show you guys again what you have to do. You have to go to Component, D-Terminal. This turns it on. For, for, for your program to record to recognize that it has to be on the setting you won't be able to record that's this is everything you have to do for your your audio you're seeing everything right now Dolby everything's on there now as far as if you want to hear uh, like on the two, on a two channel type of deal go to sound settings go to audio out uh, well out, audio multi I'll put my bad and turn it on so yeah guys uh, that's the video and uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed it and if you have any questions on anything on this video on the hop hog on your Mac let me know in the comments below if you're stuck or anything I'll try to help you out guide you through it if I can or also sing you in the right direction and also if you like this video hit that like button or subscribe if you have not I have many much more other kind of content on this channel I really greatly truly appreciate it if you would until next time this is your heart of a champion Mickey CTX signing off